what's going on guys disciple fit here finally got a cool day outside man it's it's been some hot ones and it's finally cooled off so i'm happy about that hope you guys are having a great day today uh just a quick video here in response to a uh, big big hoss power lifting he just put out a video uh, and proposed a question what motivates you uh, if you don't follow big hoss i'll link them down below and try to toss his video uh, about what motivates you at the end of the uh, video today anyway super cool dude into power lifting uh, so he's he's pretty cool but anyway uh, to the question what motivates me what motivates me is uh, stories just like he told on in that video stories of willpower uh, stories of overcoming adversity um, just a real quick Basically, he went in, started powerlifting, made great results, had some injuries, and uh, kind of fell back through his injuries. And uh, now he's trying to build back up and get to where he was, and then not only there, but surpassed to where he was. And, uh, you know, the doctors told him, you know, this and that. And uh, he's going through that, and, and his willpower is taking over. And that's what motivates me, hearing people's... Uh, uh, stories of strong willpower you know the doctors are great at what they do it is their practice to uh, diagnose you and tell you you know things that are to heal you and make you feel better and blah 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 but at the end of the day their diagnosis their diagnosis is not uh, going to determine uh, where you finish at uh, especially if you have a, a strong willpower uh, many times we hear something the doctor says and uh, we get depressed about it and crawl in a hole and don't do nothing, uh, you know, to better the situation. Uh, a lot of times, doctors, uh, their uh, ability to fix something is just throwing drugs at a situation. And I'm not, and I'm not talking bad about doctors. Doctors are out there for a reason, uh, but most of them is not going to promote, you know, healing through naturally or, uh, you know train in a certain way to uh, to bring you back up that's just that's not how they make their money but anyway uh, he found a way and he's finding a way to uh, get through that and uh, stuff like that is what motivates me I have a similar story uh, didn't really go through any physical ailment uh, but I had a few mental stumbling blocks uh, and I've been uh, I've been lifted I'm new to power lifting but I've been lifting you know consistently eight or nine years uh, so I've been through a workout or two and uh, probably four years ago I feel like I was in the best shape of my life uh, motivation was as high as it can be uh, weight was down uh, muscle was high I guess probably as I've, I've seen for being that lean and uh, I was kind of on top of the world you know I couldn't be uh, couldn't be brought down you know it didn't matter if I work 16 hour shift, I was still going in either at 4.30 or morning, in the morning or at midnight and getting a workout in, sleeping a couple hours and getting back after it. <clears throat> and like I said, at that time I was best shape of my life and I finally kind of just fell off and quit going and eating like crap, binge eating, skipping workouts and uh, I've kind of let life just kind of take hold of me and uh, I let things that necessarily wasn't important take times take time away from things that were important to me and were important to my family uh let let work go and uh i've kind of always been a people pleaser uh i want to help everybody i can and sometimes unfortunately in doing that i take time away from myself and i take time away from my family uh so i kind of crashed i <coughs> started binge eating um just kind of you know kind of get a little bit of happiness out of that and of course the next day would feel like crap but it it you know kind of took care of me for the for the moment and uh recently i've started to uh work on that and and you know not let everybody else dicta dictate what happens in my life and where i get to spend time with family to make myself and my family happy before i you know try satisfying others and Unfortunately, that's just what you have to do and now times when we can get so busy and you know Our focus can come off ourselves, our focus can come off our family and at the end of the day They are the most important people in our lives um, 
So, that being said, you know, I'm getting back motivated uh, in the gym and eating, trying to eat right. Um, like I said, I'm new to powerlifting, but I, I enjoy it. It's, it's giving me that drive, uh, you know, of, of seeing progression, seeing the weight go up. Uh, before, I was an advocate of, you know, thousand rep set workouts, you know, drop sets, uh, just, you know, a ton of reps, and I really enjoyed <coughs> uh, taking it to the next level, you know, when the reps start getting hard, when it's, you know, you start getting the negative thoughts, is pushing through that, and just, you know, pushing through a crazy amount of reps is really what drove me, I, that's what I really enjoyed in the gym, and it's kind of linking to powerlifting, uh, powerlifting is more on-demand power, uh, whereas lifting like that for reps, you know, you can you can do 20 or 30 reps and you know Just kind of get the blood flowing before you actually start uh, You know needing to tap into that willpower and uh, So I'm kind of finding a correlation between that and powerlifting. I'm starting to enjoy it uh, I'm starting to get back uh, Where I enjoy uh, looking forward or I basically look forward to going to the gym and look forward to eating right and seeing results and uh, that motivation comes from you, Big Hoss. Uh, not solely you, but you played a big part. You know, I see you going through uh, through these types of things and getting through them. Uh, also received motivation from uh, <coughs> seeing others' dedication. Uh, I see motivation through uh, progress. I uh, see motivation in, you know, seeing the bigger picture uh, that maybe I can influence other people's lives, uh, not strictly by just giving out good information, but, uh, you know, seeing that I can get up and I can do the work and then, you know, maybe that instills some type of motivation in them as they can do it too. You know, I'm just an ordinary guy. And, uh, so they can see that, Hey, I'm not some, you know, sawed off, uh, crazy creation that, you know, I'm not, what I have is not unattainable. Um, so that motivates me, that drives me, uh, just to be better in myself, you know, every day. Every day is a step towards being better. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. The uh, powerlifting game, like I said, I've been, I'm new to it, but I've been lifting for a long time now. And uh, you guys like Big Hoss, Josh Eileen, uh, Gary Singleton, Tommy Mason, even my buddy Shane, Dylan, Matt Fouts, all big homies uh, appreciate y'all you know kind of kind of all show me a little something on powerlifting and uh, I can take something away from that just because I've been doing it for a while uh, doesn't mean I'm throw y'all's ways out uh, and that's kind of what seems to be helping is listen to other people how they do things and uh, you know taking it and try it just because you might not initially like the sound of it uh, you know, you think, well, that's probably not going to work for me. At least give it a try, you know. If you can combat something that others use and work for them, hey, it might work for you. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for today's video. Uh, check out Big Hoss. Big Hoss, appreciate you, bub. Uh, we need to hit some deadlifts sometimes. I know you enjoy deadlifts. I enjoy deadlifts. We both got YouTube videos. We need to be doing a deadlift video, so I look forward to it. See you guys.